Whenever you are speaking in front of a microphone, sometimes you may speak very, very quietly and sometimes you may speak very loudly. But when you edit the video, you need to make sure the audio level is equal throughout the video so that your audience doesn't need to increase the volume again and again, decrease the volume again and again, right? So today we are going to learn how you can compress your audio. Hey guys, this is James and welcome to another episode of each and every effect in Adobe Premiere Pro and today we are going to learn how you can use single band compressor in Adobe Premiere Pro. I have prepared an audio clip. If you want to download this clip, you can download this clip from the link in the description below. I'll just make a sequence out of this clip. If I just click and drag it here to our timeline, it will make a new sequence. And here you can see this is my voiceover. So if I play it back, sometimes when you record your audio in front of a microphone, you may speak very quietly. And actually the audio is not that bad. But here you can see if we zoomed in a little bit more, this part is little bit quieter and this part is little bit louder, right? So we are going to level this audio clip. How you can do that? Using an effect called single band compressor. So if you go to effects, then go to audio effects and here under amplitude and compression, you'll see single band compressor. We're going to use this effect. Of course, we'll learn multi band compressor, but the basic is same. If you know how you can use the single band compressor, then you can easily understand how the multi band compressor works, right? So first, let's see how we can use single band compressor. If I just click and drag it here on our clip, it will apply and then go to effects control panel. And here, if you click edit, it will open this window. From this section, you can select any preset if you want or you can manually change these settings, right? When we speak, we may speak very quietly and sometimes we may speak very loudly and compressor will make the louder part of our audio a little bit quieter and it will increase the volume of our quieter part a little bit more, right? so that the average volume level throughout the audio clip is equal. So I will use Adobe Audition so that you can see better visual representation. You don't need to use Adobe Audition. I'll just showing you for the sake of this tutorial, right? I'll delete this effect and we'll get back to Adobe Premiere Pro and show you how you can use that in Adobe Premiere Pro 2. So I'll just duplicate this clip so that the main clip doesn't have any change. I'll select this one and then right click and then I'll send in Adobe Audition. By the way, when I'm editing my audio, I always tend to use Adobe Audition. I think Adobe Audition has better user interface and whenever you are editing audios, it will show the audio waveform in a better way so that you can edit your audio perfectly. So to edit this audio in Adobe Audition, you need to right click here, then click edit clip in Adobe Audition. It will open Adobe Audition and here you can make the changes. You can see this is my audio clip. If I play it back, sometimes when you record your audio in front of a mic. Great, right? We can see the audio waveform in a better way but the main thing if i click here on this section it will show me the before and after of my audio right if i click here then apply single band compressor i can use a preset like voiceover you can see the after has changed right and this is the exact same effect that have been used in adobe premiere pro so the result will be very similar, right? If I turn it off, you can see this is the before and this is the after. So what is this parameter do, right? The first one is threshold. If I just disable this one. So what is the threshold? If you play back the audio, you have very to good. set a threshold, which is the average level of your audio clip. Suppose here you can see the peak of my audio is minus six dB, right? And the lowest peak of my audio may be minus 21 or minus 20 dB. So I have to select a threshold level, which is a average peak, right? Maybe I have to set a threshold that is minus 12 or minus 15. Minus 15 will be a little bit aggressive. So if I select it, maybe minus 14 or 12, that will be better, right? So if I show you, this is the after, if I select the effect, it is decreasing the peak and how much you want to decrease that will be determined by the ratio. If you select a higher level ratio, it will decrease a lot. And if you set it to maybe for voiceover, I think four or five is a very great number. So you can just compress it by one is to four ratio. And then the attack, the attack time is how quick it will attack the audio clip when the threshold level cross and the release is how quick it will release the audio and lastly the output gain you have to 
Use up foot gain if you think the audio level after applying the compressor decrease a lot. Because whenever you are applying a compressor, it will decrease the volume level, right? So you can just add some output gain. It will make the audio gain level a little bit healthier. So if I play it back now. Quietly. And suddenly sometimes you speak very clipping. loudly, right? So when I you edit the audio in Adobe Premiere Pro, you have to make sure the audio volume level is so that's it so now if i show you the before and after so this is the before before applying the effect if i apply the effect you can see it has decreased the highest peak of my audio and it has increased the lowest audio level a little bit more if i show you again this is the before and this is the after this is the before this is the after you can see the highest peak decrease a bit here and the lowest peak which is this one it has increased a bit right so it is actually making the audio clip a little bit smoother when you are someone is playing the audio clip on their mobile phone or computer right they don't need to change the gain level again and again so that is the basic thing again you can do the same thing in adobe premiere pro 2 let me show you how you can do that go here then just apply this effect then click edit you have to find the threshold level for your audio. If you just play so it back, you can see you have to make sure the average volume, volume level maybe level is minus correct. throughout 13 the video. or so minus like 12. The... You can set a threshold just like that. Minus 14. And then you can set a ratio. 3 or 4 or 5. Whatever you want. I'll just set it to 4. Then I'll keep the attack and release. As it is and i will increase the gain Audio a little bit need to change the gain level every single time so today we are going to learn how you can adjust the so audio that is how you can apply the single band compressor i can just render it to show you the after you can see the result is pretty similar this is the before and this is the after this is the before this is the after so that's it that is how you can use single band compressor on your audio clip to make your audio level a little bit even throughout your audio clip i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye <laughs>